In this video, we're gonna talk about how to back up a retail 5838 Xbox BIOS for use in Project Stellar setup. All right, everybody, Project Stellar is here and I am, for one, quite excited about the potential that this new mod chip has for the original Xbox scene. But getting it set up does require the use of an original retail 1.6 modeled Xbox BIOS files, so the 5838 BIOS. Now there's a number of ways to get these online and I really don't care how you go about doing it, but for anyone that is interested in acquiring it from an actual version 1.6 Xbox, I decided to put together this short video showing you how to do it. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we get started with this process, you are going to need access to a version 1.6 Xbox and have it soft modded. If you have not soft modded a 1.6 Xbox before, I do have a video guide on the channel showing you exactly how to do so. And this is using the Rocky 5 USB method, which will get you set up with everything you need to back up your retail BIOS for use in Project Stellar. So link to this will be in the description below, as always. Now to back up our Xbox BIOS file, we need to access NK Patcher. So it should be installed by default with the Rocky 5 USB method. But if you don't have a shortcut to it, you can burn the Xbox Soft Modding Tools extra disc to a CD and put it into your Xbox and launch it up. But within the Xbox Soft Modding Tools extra disc, just go down to Install, Applications, then head down to NK Patcher Shortcut, and that will get the shortcut installed for you to use on your dashboard of choice. So I'm using XBMC for gamers, so I'm just gonna switch over to the Applications tab real quick here, and there we go, there's my NK Patcher Settings shortcut. So just gonna go ahead and get this one loaded up. Now with NK Patcher loaded up, head down to Kernel Fonts, option five, scroll down to Advanced Features, 5.1, and then back up Xbox BIOS, and it's telling us this will back it up in E Backups BIOS. So it will copy over necessary files to do this option and then launch the program to back up the BIOS file. So unfortunately, it's a lot of video mode switching so my capture card can't keep up. But there we go, retail 5838 BIOS detected and it is backing it up and now the backup is complete. And after that process is finished, you'll be brought back to the NK Patcher settings menu here. So just go ahead and use the exit command of left trigger, right trigger, black and back to get back to your normal dashboard. And once you're back on your normal dashboard, make sure your Xbox is connected to your home network so that way you can FTP your backed up BIOS file to your PC. So just make note of your network's IP address and that it is connected. So now over on the computer, we can go ahead and FTP into our Xbox. So just gonna do that real quick. And once you're connected to your Xbox's file structure, we just need to navigate to the E drive, that backups folder and inside will be a BIOS folder, and there is our retail 5838BIOS.bin file that we need for Project Stellar setup, so let's just go ahead and back that up to our desktop. And there it is. And once you have it on your computer, you can get your Project Stellar mod chip hooked up to your PC, use this retail BIOS file to get the OS set up. I can't demo this because I already set mine up because I really didn't think about it beforehand, and uh, sad days, but it's really straightforward and the documentation is great on how to do it. And there you have it, an easy way to back up a retail 5838 BIOS file for use with Project Stellar. Honestly, the hardest part of this process is just gonna be getting the Xbox soft modded in the first place. And even that isn't too difficult of a process. So this isn't a process that should take anyone too long to accomplish. And this can also be used on any other number of Xbox models as well if you wanna back up BIOS files for use in emulation. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your BIOS files backed up for use in Project Stellar or emulation. But here at the end, I do have a couple of big favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like or dislike button, depending on how much you like today's video, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. You are the truest of champs. We couldn't do it without you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.